MIT's campaign to build a new home for hockey began in 2010 when Steve Schultz made a $1 million donation. Since then, the generosity of many, including Tom Golisano and the Polisini Foundation, have helped make the new arena a reality. In April, SportsZone was granted access into the Gene Polisini Center, which is set to open this fall. What's the progress of the arena so far? Well, thus far, we've uh, been able to get our structural steel in place. Uh, we've been able to start sheeting the building. Uh, we've got a roof on now that is uh, or mainly watertight. And a key component here is we've been able to get all our structural concrete in place. Just, we have a complete uh, structural slab across the entire footprint of the building. We're on our last couple pours now, which is a structural slab that's beneath the ice slab. So that was key in order for us to continue with the, uh, the skin of the building, the building shell. How difficult was it throughout the winter to make sure everything would keep on track? It was very, very challenging, very challenging. The way the structure is designed, we can't skin the building unless the concrete is in place. And without skinning the building, we had a hard time keeping enough heat in the building in order for us to place concrete. So it was very challenging. Eventually we got enough heat in the building in order to place concrete, which allowed us to continue on the shell of the building. So the winter was, was uh, very challenging. We were, we were hoping for global warming to kick in, but it, it just didn't happen. So, so right now we're standing in the, in the, uh, the main uh, atrium area. Your north wall is gonna be all glass with, with little exception as to where the Hall of Fame wall is gonna be. And then you've got a feature stair that'll also take it to the second level here right in the, in the northwest corner of the facility. Uh, we have end hung scoreboards. So that'll be one positioned on this wall here on the south end. The scoreboard is essentially a, about 23 feet wide and about 13 feet high. There'll be video scoreboards. I'm calling them scoreboards, but they're, uh, they're pretty sophisticated. The, uh, the south end here is student seating. The corner crew is gonna be just on the other side of the Zamboni entrance. And the pet pan will be on this side of the Zamboni entrance. And uh, this area is gonna be all bench seating. Yeah. So uh, it'll be pretty cozy. Exactly, want that Ritter feel. Are we on track to finish for the beginning of the season? We sure are. We track the progress on a daily basis. Daily basis, we review it on a weekly basis. And uh, to ensure that on a you know, macro level that we're gonna hit our September 15th because it, it is construction. Not everything goes as scheduled. So you're constantly reevaluating the schedule to ensure you're gonna hit your target date. Thank you.